Hey there, you little farm to table chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, howdy, y'all. Welcome back to the farm. And I am so happy to see y'all. How happy am I, you might ask? Well, I'm about as happy as a chicken on a soft pillow. You see, I've recently lost something that was very important to me, and I need your help finding it. So here's the situation. I just finished churning the butter, picking up the eggs in the coop, and brushing the horses, and then I realized something. I lost my keys. Now, I know that may not seem like a big deal, right? People lose their keys all the time, no biggie. But here's the thing, one of the keys on the key ring is for the barn, which is where I am today, and tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the day it just keeps going because I'm locked in the barn. That's right, I'm trying my best not to panic, but I'm trying to keep my cool. I'll just take a one minute to take a deep breath, focus on recentering myself. Hey Carl. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Carl, relax, it's me. Oh, hey, Grace. <laughs> I, I am relaxed. What are you talking about? You seem like you're panicking. <laughs> what? Wait, are you kidding me? I'm cool as a cucumber, girl. Oh, really? Because I just got your text that says, hey, all caps, nine exclamation points. Just making sure I got your attention. The text says, Grace, I need your help. I locked myself inside the barn and now I'm stuck. My life is over. I'm panicking, panicking. Panicking. Can't stop panicking. Not my best moment. So you lost your keys. Have you looked everywhere? The stables, under the hay, in your pockets? Yes, Grace, of course I check my pockets. What do you take me for? <laughs> All right, I'm just checking. Anywho, did you read the Bible story I texted you? Not yet, I just been a little bit busy being locked in a barn. <sighs> so what's it about? Oh, it's great. It takes place soon after Jesus rose from the dead. But the thing is, not everyone knew about that because only a handful of people had actually seen Jesus alive again. So rumors about Jesus were flying all over. Sounds like the crows that fly over this farm. They're so chatty. Maybe they stole my keys. So there were these two men who were walking outside the city and they were talking about Jesus and all that had happened when suddenly, Jesus walked up behind them and began to talk with them. Whoa, they were talking about Jesus and he shows up? What are the odds? They, they, uh, they must have been sacked. That's the crazy thing. They didn't even recognize Jesus. What? Jesus asked them what they were talking about and they were shocked that he didn't know. They assumed everyone had heard the stories of the man named Jesus who was taken prisoner, even though he did nothing wrong, and then was sentenced to death by being hung on a cross. They also told him that this Jesus was supposed to be the Son of God, and that some people are saying that he has rose from the dead. Wow, and they still had no idea that they were talking to the Jesus? Not a clue. They thought it was some random guy, but that's when Jesus began to talk to them. He told them that they may want to take a closer look at what the scriptures had said. He told them, did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? What did they say? Well, it was. At that time, they realized that this man was someone special. So they invited him to come over for dinner. And Jesus said, yes. When they had sat down and Jesus began to serve them, they finally realized who they were sitting across from. About time. But just at that moment, Jesus disappeared. The men couldn't believe it. They ran back into town and told the disciples that it is true, the Lord has risen. What? what a great story, I can't believe it. I mean, how could they not know that Jesus was with them? Well, it can happen more easily than you think. How? Well, when we don't recognize or get too used to something, we can often forget how important it is or that it's even there at all. I mean, Jesus promises to never leave us, but it can feel like we're 
alone sometimes, huh? Sure can. I just never want to forget that. I need to write that down, actually. Um. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I told you to check your pockets. Oh man, I feel foolish. I guess I'm just like those guys from the story. I had the thing I needed with me the whole time and I had no idea. Well, the important thing is that you found it. <laughs> but remember, Carl, there will be times when you feel like you are trapped and don't have any help. But we can't forget that Jesus is there for us every day. Hey kids, <laughs> what a fun time, huh? Not only did Carl find his peas, but we found the big idea in the process. And today's big idea is, Jesus is there for me every day. So let's shout it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus is there for me every day. <laughs> Wonderful job. Now it looks like Carl's last day on the farm is next week. So make sure you don't miss it, okay? See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Ooh.